My name's Neil Manser and this is Solo and uh, I come from England, I'm from Kent. Um, I studied at uh, uh, Cranbrook School, Angley, uh, and then I went on to West Kent College in Tunbridge where I studied uh, preliminary certificate in social care. One of the um, greatest things I did while I was uh, studying was um, did some voluntary work in uh, a Dr Bernardo's place in Southborough. Um, as a classroom assistant in, a, in an art class and then in the evenings went back to the house in the nurture unit and helped out with the children there, uh, taking them swimming, uh, just reading them stories, uh, playing, uh, you know, just doing um, things in the evening just to entertain people while the, the dinner's being cooked. Uh, hi, my name's Ian Callan. I am a director of Go Provence Sports Holidays. I've been living in Provence for uh, nine years now. Um, I'm married with three children. I started off working with people with learned disabilities in Bristol, where I'm from, in England, and that was working on a farm teaching horticulture and conservation to people with learned disabilities. Um, I then, after I qualified as a teacher, I moved to France to teach in a dyslexic school, uh, a school for children who have dyslexia. And I taught photography, gardening, uh, biology and astronomy to the, these children at GCSE levels. I uh, started uh, uh, six years ago with my friend Ian and his wife Anna and we've been providing holidays for people with learning disability since then. That was our aim to provide something that is uh, not um, stereotypically aimed at people with learning disability. Uh, so the holidays that we do are quite adventurous. We do wildlife photography holidays, uh, we do adventure holidays, we do trekking, you know. And the, the reason for this is that we noticed a lot of young people with learning disabilities who had been in mainstream schools, they want to do the same things as their brothers, their peers, their, um, their best friends at school, which is like traveling, trekking around the world. So that was, that was what we wanted to do. We wanted to... Um, to create an atmosphere, uh, holidays, uh, an environment that is non-patronising. people an opportunity to do things that maybe they wouldn't be able to do back home, maybe because of the weather, uh, maybe because they don't have the opportunities, but also just to really um, have fun with everybody we meet along the way. I have a real passion for cooking, so this is a, a big part of what we do with Go Provence. Um, we do do a cooking themed week, a world cooking week uh, this year, 
but um, I've noticed that the guys uh, that come on our holidays have have the same passions uh, Ian and myself about food. We love it, and some of the best times we have are sitting around the table at night time after we've eaten or while we're eating, just having the the, the fun uh, and the and the laughter of uh, what's happened during the day. The things I notice when people are on holiday with us is well, for a start, they're recharging their batteries and they're, they're in a change of place, a change of scenery. And one of the things that I see is new ideas are born um, together with us or in a situation. And sometimes those ideas can, re can change someone's life. When they get back to England or to wherever they live, it can change their direction. You know, they might decide, I know what, I'm gonna, I, I'm really inspired by Neil's cooking and I'm going to do that cookery course that I've always wanted to do because Neil might have said you know why don't you cook a cheesecake or why don't you make tonight's stew or something like that and that to see the, those ideas is now a real motivation for us to try and help people to to, to realize their dreams really in, in life whether it's a, a career or whether it's to go off traveling more or or to, to take up a hobby like photography or something like that. That's one, one of our motivations, is to help people, not get out of a rut, but change things that they've always really wanted to do. And holidays are a really good time to do that because you're in a different environment, you're meeting new people, you're getting inspired. And uh, that's one of my motivations. aims one of our goals for the next 10 years or so five to ten years is we would we would be we would really like to attract French people with learning disabilities onto our holidays and really mix up the two groups that have English speaking and French speaking so you get a real cultural exchange uh, between the two groups the best things uh that uh, Ian and myself and Anna, uh, Ian's wife, um, have in common is our friendship uh, and building our friendship uh, together, which we've brought into Go Provence. And I think that actually shines through um, in our in in our everyday um, routines that we have. People do buzz off uh, our laughter, uh, and that's a that's a great thing. It's a, it's a gift to both of us that we have that we can make friends. Uh, so well. Is that from Pearl? Yeah, that's the one.